Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, May 7th, 2022. Week 179. I cheated. <laughs> well, not on keto, but on the, looking. I'm looking at the macro. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry we missed you last week. It was a wonderfully emotional, exciting weekend. Uh, our daughter graduated from the University of Michigan with most, uh, cellular and molecular biology and development and a minor in interdisciplinary astronomy. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> That's a mouthful to remember everything. So it was a very exciting weekend. Uh, my brother flew in from Albuquerque, and my one sister came in from Indiana. and uh, Brought the niece, too. Yep, brought so. our, my great niece with us. Um, so it was... Uh, it was a great weekend. Yeah, it was very busy, very full, um, activity <laughs> after activity. And I kept telling Stace, well, we're going to have to just five, five minutes and throw a little video up, you know. And with all the house and then all the running and all the, well, there was three ceremonies for her mm -hmm. on top of that. We just, uh, <laughs> our week was like a blur. So, yeah. Yeah. They went home Sunday, but I worked Sunday. Um, so... They left, but I went to work, and uh, we the work week has been very different. I don't have my typical days off. Um, I'm filling in uh, with somebody else's schedule. I'm going to stop you because we need to do our weights first. Oh, yeah, first. yeah. Sorry. Before we babble, we got to give our weights. Okay. This is the hard part. I'll go first and just get it over with. Okay. Having said that, um, uh, two weeks ago, my weight was 161. This morning, I was 161.8. And two weeks ago, I was 341, and as of this morning, I was 345, so I'm up four. Yeah. It's crazy. My hot flashes have been a whole lot more than they have been. Um, even sitting next to Bill, I'm already hot. Mm -hmm. It's because he's a hot guy, but um, they've been trickling in through the day. Um we were watching TV last night, and you were all uncovered and like, yeah. So I could tell you were uncomfortable. Yeah. It was cold in here. I had a cup of ice trying to cool me down from the insides. Um, oh, we're going to have to get you like a cooling suit or something, because we can't afford to pay for the air conditioner to be as walk-in freezer-like as that you need. It's <laughs> it's it's so crazy. It, it's... <laughs> That goes a little warm in here. I said, no, I'm having my own personal summer right now. <laughs> kind of looked at me. The other cashier that was on the other side of me, she starts laughing. She goes, I'm having it with she you knows. right now. She knows. She knows. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. It's crazy, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. I've been going through some adjustments with medicines. Uh, I just started a new medicine. Um, not loving it, but just got to get adjusted. My sugars are not really good right now. Not loving that part of it. Uh, he did say it would take two weeks, uh, so I'm in, into week two, so yeah. hopefully maybe by the end of this week I start seeing my sugars come down a little. Um, that would be nice. I even fasted, and when I fasted, my sugars were high, <laughs> so I'm fighting some insulin resistance and just... Yeah, we're uh, talking about over 400 high. Yeah, like like really high, and I don't understand what's, what my body's trying to do. So, Yeah. Trying to make some adjustments. I'm trying to stay positive, too. I've had my back's been out for over a week and a half here. Um, and that's been really limiting me, I should say. Yeah. Not be able to get on the bike and move as much as I normally like to. Not much else to say except for I see it on the scale. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I got to... I don't know, just a full total reset and I don't know, this this menopause is kicking my ass. Kicking your butt, huh? <laughs> it's bad. I, I mean, I guess never really, and I hear people say that it's bad, but until you experience it, and I'm always freezing cold, so I figured, oh, it won't be so bad for me. Mm -hmm. It's pretty yucky. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Well, Stacy's doing that Children's Miracle Network thing. Yay. Unfortunately, when she goes to work, though, she's been doing other positions and other things, so she's not been at the cashier spot to be able to ask for the donations for that. I think I've so, raised like 20 bucks at this point yeah. in the last week, but I've not been on register, so 
uh, so but a, a handful of times for yeah. short short minutes. Kind of wish that when that happens that you could at least be in the race, you know. Right. Because you're not in the race when you're not on the cashier thing. And then <laughs> a week passes. I mean, we blink and a week goes by. Absolutely. And you haven't even been on register hardly no. a few minutes. Nope. So, but you still wear your shirt, shirt and support. I still support. And this was uh, drawn by one of the kids. Um says, making a difference one child at a time. Uh, mm -hmm. So every donation that we get uh, goes to the Children's Beaumont Hospital is the hospital that our warehouse sponsors. And last year, I think we raised 100000 wow. just for our from our warehouse to that particular one. So it was uh, pretty cool. Our goal this That's year, you know, we always go for like 60000 um, And then Costco does a blanket across, uh, across the board. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. This year, I'm not. I missed our gong. We had our gong last year, and I really loved the gong. This year, we have a weird. I it's, guess it's supposed to be like the hockey. It's supposed to be a hockey buzzer, but it sounds like a fire alarm or something, or like a foghorn coming in or something. I was in the store, and I'm like, "What is that noise? It's really annoying." And they said, "That's because somebody just donated." I'm like, "Oh." So well, we turn it, we turn it into a positive, and when they say that's annoying, I say that means we've raised at least five dollars. So you have to have at least a five dollar donation to hit the button. Uh, so every time you hear it as annoying as it is, it's a five dollar minimum donation. Yeah, you know it's a good thing. Yeah, we had a fifty dollar donation uh, from a couple people yesterday I'm with their make name a, on the balloon. I'm gonna make a shirt that says "Bring Back the Gong Children Miracle Network." I loved the gong. <laughs> the gong was cool because it was like. Dong. Yeah, and people were like, whoa, what's that? And there was excitement to and it. And it created the excitement for the kids to go because they get to go hit the gong. And Now, where did that gong come from? Do you know? Um, one of our supervisors uh, had brought it in. Hmm. Should see what it costs to rent a gong. Yeah. Donate well, the 50 bucks that it costs to rent a gong for two <laughs> weeks and just throw that up there and let them have a choice. Button that makes an annoying noise or gong that's kind of fun. I should I should bring that up. Yeah. So can we can we get a gong and they can pick which one they want to do? Everybody does. Everybody that was there was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> what is this noise? Yeah. So and then when I finally heard it, I I understood. <laughs> so it's a little annoying on my hearing aids. I've come home quite a few times within the last uh, week with a headache. Hmm. So yeah, when you're up there eight nine hours, yeah, and, and you're I'm hearing that right, right underneath it, and uh, it's really not pleasant. No, I hate to say it, but it's <laughs> it's true. Bad choice. Yeah, or poor choice. Poor I choice. <laughs> I would have. I would. The gong, I think, was super super fun, and people were really motivated by all the kids, especially wanting to go get it and hit it and do a nice little one. <laughs> Mom, can we donate five bucks so I can go hit that gong? Yep. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool, though. Yeah. Ah, so, we'll get there. Got to just reset. Meds, I don't think, are helping you. Menopause is certainly not helping me. I've changed a few things up. Yeah. And and then, uh, for a while there, I was running out of all my vitamins and everything. And I just ponied up and started getting some of the things like my... I'm going to butcher the names of Burbidine or whatever it's <laughs> called and uh, Cillian Cinnamon and um, there's like three or four things I take that help a little bit with the sugars. Yeah. So yeah, I'm getting all those back into my pill keeper. Filled those like three days ago and started to refill them. Yeah. So I'm hoping that those all help start kick back in, in kink, kicking back in and helping. <laughs> yeah. And I've been on this kick of less coffee and... Trying to sleep, but I'm not doing so good on that. But I'm trying. These are all the things the doctor wants me doing. And I'm not having those weird heart palpitations. So it could have been the coffee stuff. I'm not sure. We oh, changed some yeah. medicines because of it too. So he gave me a couple new medicines and then we changed the diabetic stuff. And uh, this is just a trial. And he's like, just fill me in as yeah. how you're doing. If I had to fill him in today, it'd just be like, yeah, things are not good. <laughs> So we'll just have to give it a little time, be patient, and yeah. uh, try and get this back feeling a little better. Stacy was pushing with her heels of her feet on my back I was this walking morning. all over them. Hey, I, I don't mind it. <laughs> it actually felt wonderful because it was stretching my back a little. So I'll yeah. take that. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. 
It's nice to see you too. Yeah. <laughs> So we are going to get going. Uh, Stacy got to get in, into Costco and get those Children's Miracle Network things mm-hmm. wound up. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. Yeah, um, that'll be tomorrow. Yesterday was a crazy, crazy, crazy day. We were out of carts. People were waiting for carts to come That's back into the vestibule. <laughs> people were coming in the store and didn't have a cart even. We averaged about 275 people. And that would be like Bill and I coming in with one card is considered one person. So that two seventy five so, could really be five hundred. Right. It's so two se- about two seventy five every thirty minutes coming in to our warehouse. I think not until about four thirty did we hit under two hundred. By we had like one hundred ninety six. Um, mm. So it was just a crazy, crazy busy day. I would imagine today is going to be just the same, if not worse. Well, you're you're up front, right? Yeah. What are you seeing? Are they stockpiling like toilet paper and candles? No, and they're just what? no, no, just not really. Regular? Just it's Mother's Day weekend, so a lot oh, of people are true. doing. You know, we've sold a ton of chocolate covered strawberries. Mm, food. The flowers and... going out the door. Um, and gifts too. You know. Yep. Let's get mom, whatever it is that she wants, a vacuum yeah. or. I mean, that, those sound so Lots horrible. of Ninja Foodies going out. <laughs> now, Ninja Foodies is kind of fun. That yeah. would be kind of fun. But so, yeah. yeah and, it's and just... Who's not to say that the mom doesn't want a vacuum or a new set of pans? Or We I, just, speaking of vacuums, it's not really, it's in the it's vacuum family. It's related. <laughs> it's, um, what is that A called? shark steamer. Shark steamer. We have hardwood floors through most of our house with the exception of the master bedroom and Julia's bedroom. Everything else is hardwood. And um, it's and this uh, steamer thing is pretty darn cool. My other one broke. Yeah, we had that for years. My mom had it and gave it to us, and then uh, it just finally I fixed it once, <laughs> and it just was falling apart. Right. But it had probably a good ten years of good. It was worth the fifty, sixty bucks or Absolutely. whatever it cost. I'm looking at my floor smiling because they look um, fantastic. We got the shark back out. Um, one that just came and uh, my floors look the floors, beautiful. Yeah, they do look great. And I'm it was super happy. easy. Yeah. A little water in it and then just start pushing yeah, it around. Super happy with it. I'm glad. To, uh, I'm happy to have one back again. So yeah, it could have been. That could, that could be my Mother's Day. There you go. Yeah. I saw a post today on my Facebook memories. And so I think he should follow through with this one. It was from... Nine years ago, and on this day, nine years ago, he says, we have seven presents so far for Stacy's birthday. Oh, yeah, that's fun. (laughs) Julia was, uh, gosh, how old? Like three. Well, at that point, little, little, yeah. And uh, so they picked out wrapping paper, and they wrapped something every day for me (laughs) until my birthday. (laughs) Yeah, that'll be at the end of the month. So I'm thinking I'll... Have Lauren sit with Julia, and maybe you and I take off for a day or two. Done. Deal? Deal. All right. I have to do an on-the-road update. You said it on video. <laughs> it had to be shorter because I have to upload it from my right. phone. It would take like three hours on my phone. You but, all uh, heard it here. He's going to take me somewhere for my birthday. Yeah, we'll do something. Okay. I'm not sure where. I'll plan something. Surprise me. I'm going to surprise you totally. I'm going to surprise myself because I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to figure in gas and budget, too, because yeah. I've got no money. And uh, <laughs> gas seems to be so expensive right it now. It went up from four, just at Costco, and we are almost, always cheaper from four oh nine to four nineteen. Four twenty nine at Speedway. I say it's four twenty nine at Speedway and five thirteen for premium, and premium at work is four seventy five. So I mean, we're still quite a bit cheaper, but. And I think people who have diesel pay more too. I think there's oh, I'm sure. a higher price. It's always weird how the gas prices work. And then, you know, you go out by Arizona or California, it might be five, six bucks a gallon. Yeah. And some other places, like in the Midwest or something like Tennessee, might be under four. It's yeah. weird how that works. Super crazy. She goes south. <laughs> Still working on her. All, all right. right. Well, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And sorry for the delay, uh, but it was for a good reason. Bill will post a, a picture or two. Um, oh, yeah, for our graduation. graduation. It was really, really um, a great weekend. Very yeah, emotional. Good memories. We'll be moving to, uh, Lauren home in the next two weeks. She's coming home. And uh, yeah. And I've got a room downstairs already for her to start unpacking the things that we carried down to her room in totes for. Yeah. I'll let her do that. At this age, she 
can decide what she wants in her room and what she doesn't want in her room. <laughs> yes. I mean, we could go down there in an hour and a half yeah. and knock it out, but I want to, I want her to do it. Yep. Let her decide where she wants things and how she wants things. Yeah. So happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. And if you're doing keto, I hope you have a wonderful keto week. Yes. Better than I had for the last two weeks. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I, it was very odd having an entire family in our house for three or four days. Plus trying to shop, plus trying to cook, plus trying to, yeah, there was so much going on and it was so, mm. They eat very differently. They do eat very differently. And then I was like throwing things away because I didn't want to see them anymore. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Have a great week. And we'll, we'll see, see you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.